NorthSat Satellite Station, Intel Illumir TV. Let's start with the headlines. Pope Francis and King Abdullah II stressed the importance of preserving the Christian presence in the region. His Majesty the King affirms Jordan's commitment to protecting and caring for Islamic and Christian holy sites in Jerusalem. We also have Christian personnel discuss the personal status law for Christians in the kingdom. Welcome back. His Majesty King Abdullah II met at the Apostolic Palace in the Vatican, His Holiness Pope Francis, in the presence of Her Majesty Queen Rania Abdullah and the accompanying delegation. The meeting focused on the necessity of perpetuating interfaith dialogue promoting coexistence and protecting the Christian presence in the region. His Majesty the King also held an extensive meeting with Cardinal Perelin, Secretary of the State of the Vatican, who, for his part, appreciated Jordan's efforts to preserve Christian as an integral component of the past, present, and the future of the Middle East. His Majesty referred to the Kingdom's keenness to preserve and take care of Christian religious places, especially the site of the Baptism of Christ. His Majesty the King affirmed that this site is surrounded by great care and will witness in the next stage a process of development and improvement of the facilities and services provided by visitors coming from it for the purpose of Christian pilgrimage. His Majesty King Abdullah II affirmed during the inauguration of the second session of the 19th National Assembly that this country was not built by pessimists or skeptics, but rather advanced by the efforts of its sons and daughters who believe in it. His Majesty added, We have come a long way to modernize the state and develop its economic track, which works for the empowerment of youth and women, and contributes to finding new leaders who will give vitally to state institutions and who will have an active presence in Parliament and in the future governments. His Majesty concluded by emphasizing that Jordan has been, is, and will remain committed to its historical responsibility to protect and care for the Islamic and Christian holy sites in Jerusalem, based on the Hashemite guardianship over it. After completing the throne speech, the elections for the Speaker of the Jordanian Parliament took place, where Representative Ahmad al-Savati won it with a majority of the Parliament's votes by 104 votes, ahead of his rival Representative Firas al-Sawa'ir, who received 13 votes. His Highness Prince Hassan bin Talal sent a message to the King of Bahrain, Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa, in which he said that the Bahrain Forum for Dialogue affirms His Majesty's tireless endeavors to fuel the spirit of moderation and mediation and to promote a culture of coexistence and reject hate speech, exclusion and discrimination, stressing His Majesty the need to respect religions and prevent contempt for them and the freedom of individuals in his belief and to practice of his rituals. The Bahraini King received from His Highness Prince Al Hassan a gift from the latest publication of the Royal Institute for Religious Studies, which is a dictionary of the prominent figures of Arab Christians in the Islamic eras which deals with the contribution of Christians in building Arab civilization and enriching various types of knowledge and sciences. His Excellency Archbishop Christophorus Atallah presided over a divine liturgy in the Church of St. Nicholas in Aqaba, during which Archmandrite Andrew handed over his duties as spiritual head of the Aqaba Governorate. At the end of the service, His Excellency the Bishop turned to the Father Andrew, saying, His Beatitude Patriarch Theophilus and the members of the Holy Synod trust you and rely on you to serve and care for the Church and the believers with Father Thomas, the parish priest, for your love and zeal for the Church and the believers. He was assisted in the service by a number of priests and deacons in the presence of Mother Irina, the head of the Monastery of the Virgin, the Fountain of Life, and the parishioners of Aqaba. An expanded dialogue meeting was held at the headquarters of the Orthodox Association in Wavde, Amman, in the presence of the President of the Primitive Ecclesiastical Court of the Roman Catholics, Archmandrite Bassam Shahatit, and key figures. The meeting discussed the issue of inheritance and personal status for Christians in the Kingdom. He was briefed on the regulations and laws in force in the neighboring Arab countries. At the end of the meeting, the attendees decided to hold a subsequent meeting to complete the discussion and to draft a law to be implemented in the Hashman Kingdom of Jordan. Under the patronage of Sheikh Nahyan bin Mubarak, UAE Minister of Tolerance and Coexistence, the activities of the Abu Dhabi Peace Forum, which was held in Abu Dhabi, were concluded under the title Globalization of War and Globalization of Peace. 500 decision makers from around the world participated in the forum. In the final statement of the forum included a set of recommendations, the most important of which is emphasizing the importance of dialogue to resolve conflicts and crises between peoples and countries, and spreading the message of peace and harmony in the world. On the sidelines of the forum, an exhibition of more than 30 leading international organizations in the field of peace, promotion and peacemaking was held. The president of the Private Hospitals Association, Dr. Fawzi Al-Hammouri, 
announced that Jordan will have a date with the largest forum for medical tourism in the world, which is organized by the association in partnership with several entities under their patronage during the period from the 19th to the 21st of this month. Dr. Al-Hammouri said during a press conference, the organization of this forum comes as a translation of the vision of economic modernization in the country, as medical tourism is a priority for economic growth in the kingdom. The Latin Diocese in Jordan announced the composition of the General Secretariat for the Christian Youth for the current year as follows. Father Wajditwal, the General Spiritual Guide. Ibrahim Musallam, Secretary General and Coordinator for the Middle East. Rina Tannous, Deputy Secretary General. Raj Bara, responsible for the Working Committee. Ghassan Asfour, responsible for the University Committee. Tala Fox is responsible for the Secondary Committee. Sara Jamal is responsible for the Preparatory Committee. Dana Tannous is responsible for the Bara'am Committee. Basil Shamas is responsible for the Service Committee. Nujud Ziyadat is responsible for the Media and Innovative Committee. Rosalia Nafa is responsible for Public Relations. Arif Sahawne is responsible for the Training and Development Committee. And they have also been appointed. Hadil Dababne is in charge of the Shabiba store, which is in charge of the medical. And they have also been appointed. Hadil Dababne is in charge of the Shabiba store, which is in charge of the musical band. The administrative and teaching body of the Saada schools extend their sincere congratulations to Dr. Nabil Musa Kharman on his honoring by His Eminence Bishop Jamal Ibis, the Latin Patriarchal Vicar in Jordan, for his continuous contribution to the General Secretariat of the Christian Youth, wishing him continued health and giving for all the love and goodness in him. His Beatitude Per Batista Pizabella, Patriarch of Jerusalem for the Latins, bishops, priests, and other clergy, mourned the death of the Archbishop of Cyprus. Bishop Christmas II, who moved to heavenly glories after a life full of giving and service to the Church. And the telegram of condolences read, As we raise the prayer for the comfort of the Bishop's soul, we thank God for what he has done for humanity in general and the Church in particular. Eternal rest grant him, O Lord, and perpetual light let it shine for him, so that he may rest in the mercy of God in peace. Dear, dear viewers, we have come to the end of our news, and those were the headlines. Pope Francis and King Abdullah II stressed the importance of preserving the Christian presence in the region. His Majesty the King affirms Jordan's commitment to protecting and caring for Islamic and Christian holy sites in Jerusalem. Christian personnel discuss the personal status law for the Christians in the kingdom. For more information, please visit our website www.nursadjo.org. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, have a good day.